Welcome to this What's New in Solid 2011 R1 video about the Section Editor. As we open the program to the splash screen, I'll click on New to start a new job. The Job Properties window opens up. I've already got my frame job configuration set. Go to the Cabinet button, and for my rollouts, I'll click Modify for this job. This is a standard rollout, not a system rollout. And when I double click on General to go through the options, I get to the very end and I have a question about enter your rollout standard setback value. For now I have a half inch, so I'll just click Cancel and Cancel. Click OK to start the job. Draw a wall. Place a base cabinet on the wall. Go to the interior, add a split, change it from an adjustable shelf to a rollout tray, and notice my setback value over on the left of a half inch coming from the rollout wizard. I can change that to two inches, and you see that the rollout is now two inches back from the face of the cabinet. Another new feature, I'll go ahead and delete this cabinet, or delete the sectioning of the cabinet. Now I'll add a vertical split to the front. I've got a two and a quarter inch mid style. I go to the interior, add a vertical split. Right now I just have a single partition. If I choose left to reference off the left, notice a new value here called left scribe. I can now put a scribe for how much I want this partition away from the left edge of the style. I enter in a half inch and notice that the style moves accordingly. I'll set that back to zero. I'll go over to right. Now I have a right scribe value. Click on 0.5 and now I scribe over a half inch. I set it back to center now and I'm going to use a double partition. Notice I have an option called box. This is a new feature. If I choose yes it's going to flush the partitions out the left to the left and the right to the right and I also have my scribe values so I could scribe the left one a quarter inch off the left edge and the right one a quarter inch off the right edge. I also have the option of referencing them off the left and entering the left scribe value just like I did when I had a single partition. Another new feature to the program, if I go to the plan view and I take this top stretcher right here and go to edit, here in my part level I've got the front view of the part, the CNC operation view, the 3D, click in the CNC view, go to new operation, I'll go to the bottom for the edge of where the top stretcher hits the end, go to next, we now have a blind dado master option and then I answer the remaining questions as desired to get a blind data operation on the master part as well as the slave part. That concludes this What's New in Solid 2011 video. Thank you for watching.